Ahmad, I'm from Central Java, I'm a college student, I'm 22, uh, and uh, I'm sitting here to ask you uh, one question. Uh, I, to be honest, uh, I have uh, several homies from for here, uh, and you know, majority they are norms. Sometimes uh, I talk to he or she in WhatsApp video call, and uh, they uh, ask me about Islam. So, of course, I'm as a Muslim, tell them, because uh, it's compulsory to me as a Muslim. And uh, there's a several questions which uh, I have no idea to reply because I'm a scholar like you. I'm not uh, practicing the same, I'm still uh, studying. Uh, the question is, uh, we know that uh, Allah will give Hidayah, will uh, guide us for a, a certain way, we don't know, or like a dream, or maybe other person come to us and tell us. And uh, we know there's uh, people which live in Long Island, or in other words, we say inland tribe. So these uh, people, they don't know about uh, cars, about internet, they so far away from uh, modern society. Even they don't know what things people like, including you. <laughs> so, uh, when they die in the judgment day, uh, what all is going to do about it? I mean, uh, is Allah going to put them in the hellfire? If so, uh, of course, no reason to say, your Lord is merciful, why? Your Lord put them in the hell. Because, uh, we know that uh, all of them, uh, when they still live on earth, they don't know about Islam at all. Nobody can approach them uh, because uh, there are several, uh, several reasons. Uh, one of them is uh, when we try to approach them, there is, uh, uh, they, they think that we are enemies. Because, uh, like, we, like I told you earlier, they don't know about us. They're so far from modern society. Modern society. Uh, I hope you can get my question. Send them my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the question. Okay. <laughs> I, I will answer. I will answer. Okay. I've, I've, been, I've been doing this for almost 23 years, answering questions on TV, live. So all of these questions have come to me, and already, inshallah, I'm not that old. I can remember. There is a hadith which Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah be pleased with him, and other scholars narrated to answer your question. These people are known to be Ahlul Fatrah, meaning that they are in the period, there is no messenger, there is no prophet. Allah will not punish them without having knowledge. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا We will not torment a people until we send them a messenger these people don't have messenger so they will come on the day of judgment and they say oh Allah no messenger came to me how would I know that you exist you this you that this person will be tested on the day of judgment now imagine resurrection all humanity are there everything is clear angels you see them jinn you see them humans are all resurrected you see hell and you see paradise. Everything is clear. Now, do you have any doubt on the day of judgment? No doubt. So when they say, oh Allah, I didn't know. In this case, Allah says, okay. Allah orders a, the hadith says, a neck. Yani something like a beast from hell to come. So it comes in. And Allah says, enter it. The believer he says, okay, Allah ordered me to enter it, Bismillah. Because he believes now, he sees. The disbeliever will say, ha ha, you want me to enter it, it will take him to hell. No, I'm not entering it. It will take him to hell. But those who enter it, it will take them directly to paradise. So their test will be on the day of judgment. Allah's name, the most merciful, the most forgiven. Allah will not punish people unjustly. So don't let shaitan whisper in your ears or head, saying, how is this fair? Allah will put them in hell. Allah, no, Allah will not put them in hell without giving them a fair trial. I hope this answers your question.